Uh, what's up YouTube? This has been this is Luna Howe here. Uh, so I know it's been out for a week now. I wasn't able to ha get a chance to watch it during its premiere because it was already booked so many places. I uh, just watched Infinity War, uh, the Avengers Infinity War and um wow, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff happened. Uh I'm going to be doing a professional with non-spoilers right now. Even though it has been a week, most people have already watched it. But just in case, if this is a video that you guys are barely watching and you still haven't seen it, I'm going to be doing right now a non-spoiler one. And then at the end of this, I'll be doing a spoiler. I'll let you know. I'll let you know when I'll do it. And I'll give you time to exit if you want to exit. So, so yeah, Avengers Infinity War. It was, it definitely for a decade in the making, since the beginning, since Iron Man showed up in the beginning and 10 years ago, they definitely brought all of this together pretty well. Um, Thanos, the guy we saw in Avengers, the first movie, and him just barely coming out. And it's always been speculated for the last six years maybe since that Avengers movie I'm, I have to look it up but always teasing it always teasing it and it definitely it definitely did its part in this movie it definitely did so much emotionally it definitely hit a lot of ends professionally I didn't have really any problems CGI was great storyboard great they did. A, they should have done a little bit more, but, I'll, but this is something I'll tell you during the spoilers. There is a little bit that they could have done that I feel like it kind of would have needed work. But um, all in all, definitely a lot of fan service in a sense. A lot of characters that were from all the movies dead show, so that's a good thing. That, but that's not really spoiler. That's we saw it on the trailers. Everybody was going to be there. Um, but yeah. <sighs> there were a few things that could have been done better. There were, But all in all, the movie, good movie, well produced, well produced. What do you expect from Disney and Marvel? <sighs> and... Yeah, all in all, it was a great script. I definitely had a lot of gut-wrenching and stuff. Despite it being out a week and everything, it definitely hit home with a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah. Definitely, this is a movie... If you haven't watched it, it's definitely a must-see. I give it that much. It's a definite must see. But don't. Definitely, it's a good see. If you know the comics, you know what happens. If you don't, I would recommend reading the com or at least. No, actually, no. I would. I would have suggested see the comics. But no, don't look at comics if you don't want it spoiled until you watch it. But those who know the comic knows what happened. And those who watched the movie know what happened. I wasn't ready for what happened, but it definitely hit home. It definitely, because of 10 years, God, I remember watching Iron Man 10 years ago when it first came out. To, be, to think that it became a franchise like this, going into Hulk, Thor, Captain America, the Avengers, then just all the more, Ant-Man, and so many more. 10 years of this, and it definitely you felt a lot well sorry about that definitely is a must see if I have to give this movie a rating I will rate this movie like well since this is my first movie review isn't it um I'll definitely give it a a four and a half star out of five. Definitely. It's a definite must see. 4.5 out of five. So, 
yeah, if you love Marvel, if you love the Avengers, if you love just what Marvel has done in the last decade, it's a it's a must see. It's definitely a must see. It's good to watch friends alone, family, whatever. If you guys all love it, it's a must watch. If you haven't watched it yet, <laughs> it's a must watch. And yeah, from star rating, 4.5 out of 5. All right, well, that's my opinions, my person, my professional opinion on this, kind of personal as well. But now I'm gonna be going into spoilers. So this is this is a spoiler warning. I'm gonna give you a little bit spoiler warning. I'm giving you some time. Spoilers. Okay, I'm gonna be talking spoilers here. So if any of you are still here, you're warned. I'm warning. This is all spoiler talk. This is now with me and my girlfriend, who's also a YouTuber named Autumn Pixie. This is our opinion on the show, on the movie. So, final one, final. Spoilers. Don't blame me. So, everyone gets their ass kicked. The heroes lost. The villain won. Thanos got all of the stones. Half of the humanity is gone from the galaxy. <laughs> Vision died. Gamora died. And half of everybody. Oh, what hit me and my girlfriend on a pixie. Spider-Man also got killed. That's exactly how I felt. Although I don't really show it, I'm a man. <laughs> okay, fine, I showed it, okay? Don't, don't judge me, I'm a human being. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are your thoughts? What do you think of the final battle? Of the, my personal opinion is that final battle, that war in Wakanda, damn. Me and her, despite the fact we were in the front row, so we were literally looking at the screen literally like this for most of the show. We were literally having to look up to the screen. But the fight was great. Hulk, Hulk, what the hell happened to Hulk? We just saw him in the beginning of the movie. He gets his ass kicked by Thanos pretty quickly. And as a last resort, Thor's friend, I can't believe I forgot his name and he was one of my favorites from Thor uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to comment to me on down below or something about it but as a last effort he teleported Hulk out of there but Hulk got his ass kicked or butt kicked I'm sorry YouTube whatever oh then again I'm not being paid by YouTube anyway so fuck it <laughs> uh, but yeah so Hulk got his ass kicked by Thanos, teleported to Earth in a panic, and Hulk, for the rest of the movie, didn't come out. And those times when he was about to come out, he kept, he was like a child. Right? Mm-hmm. He didn't want to come out. He was like a toddler <laughs> hiding in the freaking bedroom. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, wow, Banner stood up when he got into the Hulkbusters. Banner stood up. I like what he did with the hand thing. That reminded me of Spider-Man from Civil War when the beetle things of um, Falcon grabbed his wrist and took him out to, to the screen. That just reminded me of that when the whole glove landed on that one <laughs> and sent him flying. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> and you definitely saw... Strange was always supposed to be this like big badass. Especially what we saw. He was learning it in the first movie that he was in. He definitely showed a lot of his magic criteria in Thor Ragnarok. Here, he, I mean, he did hold his ground against Thanos. But it didn't feel... He, he felt his power level kind of went down a, a, a lot of pegs. 
So did Vision. Vision. One hit at, in his first battle, and he was already kind of done for the rest of the movie. He didn't really a, approach to anything, and, and he was emphasized as a very powerful Avenger. Kind of disappointing. I don't know if they heard you. I said kind of disappointing. Yes, it was. Uh, Scar Scarlet Witch. Definitely where Vision was pretty disappointing. Scar oh, Scarlet Witch did hold her ground pretty well. Yep. Oh, Captain America, man. I actually like the fact that they didn't just give him one shield. They gave them two. That was actually kind of cool. I kind of want those shields. But I want... Oh. But the one thing I like is Thor's new axe. I would love to make... Hell, no, yeah. Buy it or make it. I probably would want to make that thing. Yeah. Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> the, I forgot his name, but the dwarf that they made the axe with. <laughs> the actor and the irony of that. That was actually kind of funny, and I th thought it was cool. Uh, Groot giving Thor his arm. It, oh, my God. Get this. The axe needed a handle. They couldn't find the handle. So Groot grabs the burning pieces of the metal crumbs them together, ranks his arm, and then just chops it off. And there's Thor's axe. Oh. Oh, and I love Groot. He was a teenager in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> just like a teenager would act. Uh, and they could have won. Here's another thing. That's what pissed me off. They could have won. If Star-Lord didn't... If Star-Lord... We were talking about this in the movie. If Star Wars could have ended Gamora like she asked him to, that she asked him to promisely do for her, if he would have done it immediately, Thanos probably would have not been able to stop him from doing it. The fact Thanos was actually tempting him to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Star Lord was the one who stopped the the team from defeating Thanos. They were so close. Yes. Thanos was about to be defeated. The glove was here on him before Star-Lord... He, what's here? Here. Here. Finger almost out. They were about to win. If Star-Lord could have waited until that glove was completely off, he could have ki killed Thanos right there. But it was right there. Victory was literally thumb fingers away. And he freaking lost it there. And for the price of it, he, along with half of the universe, perished. Oh. This movie definitely put so much emphasis, so much emotion. So, I, I, Justice League, the DC, you cannot be able to do what Marvel does, no matter how much you're going to try. Marvel took care of their people. Marvel took care of the videos and the movies. You have nothing on Marvel DC. I love you. I love your characters. You're never going to catch up to Marvel. And, oh, just the losses that you have on your screen, DC, yeah, we're sad about them. But, man, this has actually been a movie that me and my girlfriend kind of started tearing up in the beginning when we saw the Asgardians die. And yes, all of them died. Ragnarok didn't mean anything for the people. They all died on that ship. They all died. Guardians of the Galaxy, only Rocket is left. The Avengers are so scattered. Vision is gone. He died. Gamora is dead. So many of them. All, almost half of the cast. No, majority of the cast is now gone. Uh, but the final credit is kind of our beacon hope. Captain Marvel. 2019 is definitely a year that we're going to be watching Captain Marvel and the new Avengers fourth one. We're going to definitely be excited for this. But until then, this has been Luna Howe. And this has been Autumn Pixie. Wish you all a good day. Like, subscribe, and become one with the pack, everybody. Love y'all. Bye.